Hello everyone, good day to you all. My name is Mr. Victor Ishamogi and I'll be working with you today through our lessons on mathematics. Um, multiplication of numbers is our topic for today's lesson. You're welcome on board. All right, so multiplication of numbers, like I said earlier, we are going to be understanding multiplications and few examples of it as well. All right, so let's see. But well, before we go into details, I would like us to go through our lesson outline, which is multiplication symbols. We're going to know what multiplication symbols looks like for those of us that are seeing it for the first time, as you can see it on the screen, those times or uh, those um, signs you're seeing on top of the screen, it's how it looks like. But still, we're going to understand more of it, okay? By getting to know what it means, how it's going to be solved, and how we approach multiplication using different styles, using different methods. The multiplication on a number line, which was just I just said, how we're going to be approaching multiplication in different methods. The multiplication as groups, then our multiplication times table charts. Okay, so let's move on and see what we have. All right, this is what multiplication means for those of us that might be wondering, oh, I've been doing multiplication for quite a while now. I've been hearing about multiplication symbol and everything, but what does it really mean? This is what it means, everyone. So pay attention to this. Multiplication is a mathematical operation that represents repeated addition. Okay, it is used to find the total of equal groups of numbers. Wow, just just so easy. Okay, it's an operation that represents repeated addition. All right, you keep on adding. Keep on adding to the numbers you are getting. Okay, when you say two, two plus two is four. You get to add two to it. You get the next answer, which is six. Okay, so four plus two is six, right? But that is how multiplication is as well. Multiplication, not really how it is, but it works hand in hand in with addition. Just like we have division also. Division works with subtraction. Multiplication works with what? Addition. So it is another... Um, form of addition okay so it is used to find the total of equal groups of numbers so moving on we are going to be having a multiplication sign yes like we stated earlier the signs and symbols of multiplication how we can identify multiplication signs okay seeing this on the screen is a multiplication sign and there's another sign of multiplication which many of us we likely don't know about it so much because we don't use it always in our classrooms we are always fond of using this one but um in some cases where you can't make use of this you can also make use of that hash no sorry not the hash the asterisk yes that asterisk um, star sign we call it star we call it asterisk okay we can also make use of that as our multiplication signs okay so let's move on and see what we've got to do Okay, now these are some examples before moving before moving on. These are examples of how we make use of our sign and our symbols. Okay. The signs are meant to be placed in between the numbers, in between our questions we are being asked. Alright. And in there are different ways of placing our questions. Okay. So by along the line, we'll get to see how questions have been placed using multiplication methods. All right, so let's see two times three. That is the multiplication sign is in between two and three. That is telling you that two is multiplying three or three multiplied two or three multiplied by two, which is what six. Same thing applies to five, which is five times one or five. We call it times as well. Five times one or five multiplied by one, which is also five. You can also say the same thing for seven multiplied by three. Okay, so let's move on and see further. Just like what we see here, 2 times 2 is 4. Now, you have been asked again, all right, 2 times 2 4. 4 times 2 is what? 4 times 2. Well, I see, I believe you should know what that is already. 4 times 2, wow, that's going to give us it, not actually 6, because we say it is another repeated addition, all right? So, there are different methods of solving this, of, get, of approaching your answers in this, okay? So, this is a um, multiplication question on a number line. So many of us, we hardly find, use this um, 
signs well we hardly use this kind of questions to solve multiplication probably we use this number line in mathematics in um, um, what do you call this now okay when we are doing dealing with subtraction and addition okay for this particular number line you do with eight with multiplication that subtraction and addition is whereby we we have two sets of it a number line one side is going facing the left the other side facing the right minus and addition but this one is multiplication whereby you have to count downwards so you could also use that as a multiplication in complex mathematics yeah, i call it complex because this is just like the 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 the, the beginning of mathematics okay so now multiplication number line this is how you solve on a number line when you're being given questions if you want to get your answers easily instead of going to your the back of your notebooks like some students do or some learners do they go to the back of their notebooks with their pens and their pencils start counting from one to ten they multiply or counting two times in five like five rows then adding together before you get your answer you can easily use a number line I said, like I said earlier, there are different methods of approaching multiplication questions. Okay, now jump forward on the number line to multiply two times five. Now let's see how you jump forward. When you see jump forward, like the, this arrow is showing, you jump from zero, facing like the normal line is ranging from zero to twenty. So you jump from zero facing towards 20 so what do you do how do you do this you're not going towards 20 you're going to count like the so question says here two times five okay so how do you do this we simply do it the normal way okay which is this just by there's no any other any abnormal way but it's always a normal way so you do this like this one you go the first one just jump on two okay question says jump so we are jumping let's take the high jump again two we are going five times all right three four and five okay so now that is where you're going to stop because you've counted five times already and where does the number stops or where does the fifth line stops on the fifth jump it stops on ten so that is to say two times five is equal to ten so that's how we work on a normal line all right so now let's work with groups when you're being given questions to work as groups okay so probably in word problems you see questions like this um we bought um, a crate of eggs how many crates of eggs if one row a row of a crate of eggs is six and there are 12 crates of eggs what would you do wow that's a very simple question but some persons might find it so difficult to approach that so what do you do you multiply okay but this we are dealing with this example here not a crate of x crate of x can also be used in place of this as well so let's see this is one two and three dots you're seeing on the screen right now and then you have to multiply three by four meaning you have four rows and so you have four rows down and three rows up. So what do we do to get our answer? It's very simple. You count, instead of counting it, going around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's quite easy. But the easiest way is just going through. Okay? Three, one, two, three. All right, those are three. Then you multiply by four. Because they are having four rows down. One, two, three, four. When you multiply them together, you get your answer as what? 12. So three times four automatically gives you 12. Now let's go and see more about multiplication. Most especially our timetables chart. Chart rather. So let's see. Some of us or most of us likely have a bit behind our textbooks or sorry, our notebooks. We do have a what we call multiplic multiplication table we have our multiplication table and which we usually turn to to check for our multiplications when we are being given questions okay now those multiplication table ranges probably from 1 to 12 okay and that's where it ends some ranges from 1 to 20 but if you observe closely you discover that this one in particular which i will be giving to you 
for your own benefit. This one for those of us that are just for those of you that are just starting using the multiplication table for the first time. This one ranges from one to twenty, and not just only that. If you look downwards, you see it also ranges from one to twenty. There are some that stops at twelve, some stops at fifteen, but this goes all the way down to twenty because there are some questions most likely will come out as twenty times twenty and will be confounded. Whoa, twenty times twenty is huge. Well, it's not that huge, most especially when you make use of this aid. All right. So my advice to you all is to kindly go through this multiplication table it's for your own benefits it's going to help you a lot in multiplying numbers if you can just follow up with the strategies on how to approach multiplication questions you should be able to deal with whoa you don't know any kind of question might just pop up all right so all right guys i really enjoy talking with you guys if you have some if you have any questions you can just you know, place them down in the chat and then I will likely be there to answer your questions concerning multiplication. Like I said, these are just few methods of a thousand in approaching multiplication. So thank you all for your time and have a wonderful day ahead.